All right, Terry Crews is at it again. He says that, and I'm paraphrasing, defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Equality is basically the way. And a lot of people clap back at him. Um, even one of his uh, his former, you know, uh, co-workers who played everybody like like Chris, you know, was his name Tyler James or something like that. He got at him as well. But uh, he also said, if you call me a raccoon or, you know, whatever, you know, for fighting for equality, you are, you are, you know, basically, you know, promoting black supremacy, whatever that is. But hey, let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And a lot of people lost respect for him. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think he tried to undercut, undercut Gabrielle Union on, on her story about what happened on whatever one of those shows. Also, we know the story about how, you know, the Me Too movement got him. Um, and he's just be saying some off the wall stuff, man. I can't believe he's from Flint. I think he's from Flint. I'm from Detroit. That's like an hour north of me. But shout out to Clarissa Shields, though. But, you know, and I put those tweets on the screen so you can read them as they as they uh, as he wrote them. But, you know, what is black supremacy? You know, a lot of a lot of, you know, um, and I'm not I'm not sure what his faith is, but a lot of Christian Christian people and religious people believe in forgiving. You know what I'm saying? And if we all if all our, our religions are taken from one of the oldest books of all time, the Bible, why do everybody got a different definition of, of that book? You know, we we believe as black people to forgive and forget. I mean, just like that. White people don't forgive us for nothing. You know, Michael Vick still apologizing. Kevin Hart still apologizing. There's a lot of people who still apologizing for something that they should have been forgiven a long time ago. Look how quick they apologize. They forgive uh, Drew Brees. And now all of a sudden he get his honorary brother badge on. But, you know, as far as what he say about, you know, we needing white people. And that's that's the problem, black people. We always looking for white people to bail us out. You know what I'm saying? We always looking for white people to bail us out. You know what I'm saying? But we do need them to comply. You know what I'm saying? So they can stop killing us. This is this they have dominated the world. And they are they have the they don't have strength in numbers, you know, at all. We outnumber them. You know what I'm saying? The, you know, Arabs have melanin in their skin, the Asians have color in their skin, but what they've done is just like Pangea broke up the original continent, they've they've made us the enemy. And if they're able to eliminate us or oppress us to the point where we no longer of a threat, then they're going to go to the, the brown community and get rid of them. And then the Arab community and get rid of them. This is truly a plan of thousands of years of world domination. Okay. But just because, you know what I'm saying, I'm fighting for, for black people. I'm doing the same thing they doing doesn't mean black, black supremacy. You know, that doesn't exist. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all that blackness, you know, even though, you know, Huey with the, you know, everybody with the fist and Martin and Malcolm, that was as black as it's going to get. You know what I'm saying? Why am I fighting for the equality of my enemy? Let that sink in for a minute. Why would I'm why am I praying for my enemy? Forget the, the book, the religious book, whatever you believe in, the Quran, the the Holy Bible, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The Mormon, whatever you believe in. Put that to the side. Why am I why am I fighting for equality for, you know, amongst Asians, Arabs, blacks, whites? Why am I fighting for equality? They don't fight for us. And the ones that do fight for us. You know what I'm saying? I have I just I just I just have my I just have my doubts. I don't know how much they on our team. Just because I'm fighting for my race to stay alive, I'm fighting to uplift my race doesn't mean it's black supremacy. It doesn't. He is put, Terry Crews is funded by the powers that be to create mass confusion amongst our community. That's just what it is. He got the direct deposit or he got the call. Him, Charles Barkley, Shaquille O'Neal. Y'all don't want to talk about Shaq, but I've been talking about Shaq getting in bed with Papa John's for years. Him, Jay-Z, Kanye, they do the same thing. They tap dance. They do their dance. They no different from Terry Crews. You know what I'm saying? They get back to this black community to make it seem like they for us, but behind the scenes, they not for us. They 
basically, you know, funded by the powers that be above us. But, you know, just because I don't want to fight for equality for everybody doesn't mean black supremacy. You got to take care of your house before you can go out in the community and build. You know, if everybody worried about their house, everybody worried about their community, everybody worried about they home and took care of their kids, everybody be better off. Real talk. I just want to take care of my house and my stuff. And when I got my shit taken care of, I kill my brother next to me. Just because I'm room for everybody black, you know what I'm saying, don't mean black supremacy. It doesn't exist. If it did exist, we'd keep our money in a circle like the Jewish and the Amish and most white people do. So he just come in here creating confusion and taking our mind off the target, which is getting justice for George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, um, Drayshawn Reed, and Breonna Taylor. You know, he's here to create confusion. He looked like us, but he's not one of us. And that's what you got to understand. The Dojo cast, the Kanye Wests, the Jay-Zs, um, um, Terry Crews, they look like us. You know what I'm saying? But they not for us. And that's what you guys got to understand. Everybody that look at this color, it's lighter, a little bit darker, they not for us, man. Talking about black supremacy. That word don't even, that, that phrase doesn't even exist. You put that in your phone, it's probably going to have a red line under it. What is black supremacy? It doesn't exist. These people, these, these black people, you know, blackness is dying. Remember, I used to be solid dark back in the day in the 70s and the 60s, man. Used to be really, really dark, man. Dark is my hair, man. Now it's an off black. It's a faded black. It's, it's a black that's almost gray. It's because we lost our way. They took away all our leaders. You know what I'm saying? We let people infiltrate the only culture we know. We built hip hop. And I talk about this all the time. The graffiti, the beat boys, the DJ, the MC. We built that. You know, we built that, you know, here in America. R&B, rap, rock. That's all ours. That's our culture. We let anybody come in and come out the culture. No matter if Eminem got two racist songs or not, and I'm going to keep bringing that up. People, white people, Eminem fans hate that. But we forgave Eminem. Oh, he, 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 he apologized for it. And I, this is the phrase I use before I get into Terry Crews' last uh, tweet. If you're at the park and a dude punch your, or a girl punch your, uh, or mom or dad punch your kid in the mouth, and he said, oh, I'm sorry, are you just going to sit there and say, oh, I'll accept your apology? No, it's some things that apologies I'm not accepting. And once you show your bigotry and show that you're a racist, I'm not accepting that apology. I don't care how many fucking books you read. You can read Marcus Garvey's Uncle Tom's Cabin. You know, you can go up to Canada and go to the Underground Railroad. All books and places, you know, a lot of things, I, all most of those things I've done. You can sit there in the black church. You can sit there and eat macaroni and collard greens. It's not going to change the way I will see you. You can make all these donations to the HBCUs to cover up who you are, but that's who you are, especially if you're a 25, 35, 40, 50, 60 year old man. Old dogs can't learn new tricks and they don't change their ways. But he says anybody calling him a raccoon, you know, basically is an advocate for white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you is one. We know you one. Don't try to put a disclaimer here to make us feel bad. We know you're here to cause confusion. Excuse me. Terry Crews. We know what you're here for. Straight up and down. You know what I'm saying? And you talking about we need to be fighting for everybody. No, everybody don't fight for us. So why are we going to fight? We fought all these people wars. The Confederate War. The war, you know, for their freedom when when them, when them people from England and Great Britain just come back to beat their butt and take them back to their take them back to their country. The Native Americans helped fight that war. Showed them how to survive here. We we built this country. We fought their wars, and what do we get? Who fighting for us? Only when we start burning stuff down and loking up, now everybody want to understand. But let this die down. Let let the summer summer twenty twenty commence, and everybody go back and things get rebuilt. This time next year we gonna be in the same place we was, where Black lives don't matter. They don't want equality. If they couldn't fix this issue in the 60s, the 50s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, shit, the early 2000s, the turn of the century. If they couldn't fix those issues then, what's different now? 
it's a lot of people that's so far away from true blackness. That's so scorned and hurt and burned. You know what I'm saying? That's so conditioned to forgive so quick. They forgave Gucci like that. They forgave H&M like that. They forgave them Chinese people after they did all that racist stuff. What the most black women over there doing? They ran right to the beauty supply. Right to the beauty supply. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to fight for equality. For everybody. Because everybody is eating up equality. We don't have no equality. If we do, we got a small percentage of it. And we see it every day. 5%. The rest of the 95% is chopped up amongst whites and everybody else. So why should I fight for other people for equality for a seat at the table? If anything, I want the table because I've been oppressed for 300, 400 years. I've been set back for years and years and years. I built it. My people built it. Y'all took it. Y'all taxes. We built Black Wall Street. Y'all burned it down. We have wealth. Y'all threaten all our, our, our leaders. Y'all kill all our leaders. And the ones that's quote unquote still here, y'all bought them out. They sold out. So why, why am I fighting for equality? I'm fighting for domination just like the other. That's what we should be fighting on, fighting for. We should be fighting for domination. We should fight to take over the world. We should fight to take the, the whole table out. We should be fighting for those things. But we so removed from, from, from blackness. We so from, removed. There's a lot of kids, and I say this all the time. I ask kids, do you know who the you know, Ku Klux Klan is? They don't even know who that is. A lot of these students, they say they know Martin. I heard of Martin. I heard of Malcolm X. They don't know who they was. Huey, they don't know who, the, who those people was. He said, if you, you call me a raccoon and, and this, that, you fight for black supremacy. We should be fighting for fucking black supremacy. We've been whipped. We've been dragged. We've been in, we've been in different slave trade, the Arab slave trade, the European slave trade, the American slave trade. We built all this shit. They tax us and they still oppress us. We supposed to be mad. We supposed to be angry. We supposed to be burning shit down. We supposed to be out here doing the worst. But we still don't. We turn the other cheek. So that's why it's no black supremacy. Nobody angry. All we do is they burn it down. They flip the fucking Monopoly board over again and told, 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 tell us to start over again. And we say, yes, the boss, and we start over again. Ain't nobody angry. Ain't nobody mad. Everybody is comfortable in their predicament. They comfortable in the hood where they, where they give us spoiled meat in our grocery stores. They give us rotten vegetables in our grocery stores. You feel what I'm saying? Sorry, neck hurting. You know what I'm saying? You know, they happy. Well, we get these raggedy ass computers and textbooks in our schools and, you know, our schools don't even have air conditioning in the hood. And we paying all these tax tax dollars and they not even teaching taxes in the hood. They not teaching, you know, credit in the, in, in the schools. They not teaching black history in the schools. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. We supposed to be angry. Over three, four hundred years of oppression, we still oppressed today, but everybody just sit here. And it's just like somebody punch you in your face. You just sit here and take it every day. Everybody happy with the norm that we oppressed. And that's the way they want it. They don't want people to wake up. Every leader you see, you still see here is here for a reason. It's because they sold out. And I ain't saying no names. Anybody you think that show up to all these Black Lives Matter protests for the majority, I'm talking about more of the older guy, Ferrati. You see these show up, informant. They took the money. And Terry, Terry Crews is just an informant. Terry Crews sold out. He took the money. You can't get mad at Terry Crews because other people you guys support do it too. Did it too. The Jays, the Yays. They did it too. The Sharptons, the James, the Farrakhan. They all did it. They all took the, took the money. So when people try to act like they religion or what they believe in and they pastor, or they minister or whoever better than the other, they still here for a reason. Because if they was any threat, they'd be with Malcolm, they'd be with Huey, they'd be with Martin, they would be with uh, um, um, Tupac, anybody that was a threat to wake black people up. But hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think on it. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, response, share, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash out, PayPal description. 
Best way to donate is share the video. And check out our current news and music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. But let me know what you guys think about Terry Crews, uh, you know, tweets. One time for the one time we gone.